Our Colette Bordelon live for us outside the home tonight in the Canterbury Mobile Home Park. Again, the southeast side of Colorado Springs. And Colette, this mass shooting appears to be, what, the fourth most deadly in our state's history. Just devastating. It really puts what happened here into perspective. Police say it was a family celebrating during a birthday when in the early hours of Mother's Day, the suspect, one of the victim's boyfriends, according to investigators, walked in and began shooting. And while it's hard to wrap our heads around this senseless tragedy, you can see a memorial starting to form at the home right behind me. And one woman who added to those flowers and candles wants to let the family know she's here for them when they're ready. On a day like this, my God, again, the rain feels right. Those little children, they'll never, never be the same. But nothing can wash away what happened in a home off of Preakness. I was late at night hanging out with my friends. All I hear is pop, pop, pop. Six people, different generations of loved ones, shot and killed at a birthday party. And investigators say the suspect then took his own life. Police say the kids in the home are physically okay. I heard a kid crying outside of one of my houses, crying for mom, because I think that's the mom that was killed in the incident. And it absolutely broke me hearing that. On Mother's Day, a child losing their mother. A memorial starting to form outside of a home turned into a crime scene. From the same family, I lost one son and I barely made it. These people lost so much. Jennifer Romero brought flowers for the family, feeling a connection to the tragedy. My son Gino was uh, 13 years old when he was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting on May 24th, 1997. And nearly 25 years later, that pain hasn't gone away. You don't believe it until they put, they put them in the ground and you have to walk away without them. That's when it really hits. Romero started a support group, Mothers of Murdered Youth, and says she's here to help anyone connected to this mass shooting. I have to be there. I have to help them. I have to do something. If and when they're ready. No, you won't be alone. She'll be there to share her heart with strangers intertwined by trauma. Police say they're still looking into a motive behind this senseless act of violence. CNN talked with a family member who says only one adult survived the shooting who was in the bathroom when the gunfire began. I'll be at that Springs Police press conference tomorrow afternoon, and we'll have the latest on the investigation for you. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Club Borderline News 5.